Hey guys, the time has finally come, and today I'm proudly to present to you the 2013 Lamborghini Aventador LP704 Roadster with blue hair metallic exterior color. The new Aventador LP700 for Roadster is a completely open vehicle with slick lines combining perfect balance, sportiness, and elegance. The design is the result of a careful study into the best way of combining performance, elegant style, ease of use, and a driving experience that excites all five senses. The all-new Aventador boasted a full carbon fiber monocoque occupant cell and advanced push rod suspension unlike its predecessor which was built around steel frame chassis with double wishbone suspension. The performance of a super sports car depends not only on the engine and the suspension, the aerodynamics are equally important. Those of the Aventador Roadster are especially sophisticated. Efficient aerodynamics lead to better acceleration and increased cornering speed. Furthermore, lower fuel consumption can be the result. News for 2013, Lamborghini has configured the engine with cylinder deactivation at speed below 84 mph and during light throttle, one bank of cylinder will lose their fuel supply and the power plant becomes a smooth running inline 6. The process is seamless, and it reportedly adds one mile per gallon to the Lamborghini's EPA highway rating. The new Roadster also features stop and start function, meaning 6.5 liters of goodness comes to a halt when the vehicle is stopped for more than a few seconds. Alright. Before I start to go into further details, I would like to give a big shout out to Lamborghini of Houston for making this video possible. They are located at 13921 North Freeway, Houston, Texas 77090. If you are looking for a Lamborghini or another high-end brand or perhaps just an everyday drive vehicle, be sure to check them out. Alright, up front, you see the pair of Bi-Xenon HID projector headlamps with LED daytime running lamps as well as LED turn signal lamp integrated into the headlamps. Park assist, headlight washer, and cornering light are also built into the front bumper. Variable intermittent windshield wipers, body color heated power mirrors, and etc. This particular model comes with 19 inch front and 20 inch rear silver alloy wheels with Pirelli 25535 front, and behind the set of wheel is the huge ceramic ventilated brake disc with dual hydraulic brake system with vacuum brake booster. With 6 cylinder brake calibers for the front and Lamborghini lettering printed on the calibers. Here is the body color side view mirrors with heated option I mentioned earlier. The side looks great with a lot of lines and black side molding around the vent, which makes the Aventador look very aggressive. Very nice. LP700-4 on each side skirts and the 20 inch silver alloy rear wheels with Pirelli 33530 tires with 4 cylinder brake calibers with Lamborghini lettering on it as well.
to the back, you see the LED tail lamp, LED brake lamp, and LED turn signal lamp. And here is a closer look at the tail lamp. Very nice. Park assist are also built into the rear bumper. At the bottom is the rear diffuser with a monster flat exhaust tip that makes the Aventador sound like no other. I will prove that to you in a moment. The engine hood on the Roadster different from the hood on the coupe model because of its central spinal column with two pairs of hexagonal windows connected at the sides as if they were hypertech armor plates. Their purpose is to cool the engine, drain off rainwater properly, and of course allow the beauty of the V12 power unit to be admired. Alright, on the remote I have the unlock and the lock buttons. Let's open it up and check out the interior. Alright, to open the door, simply press the button behind it to open. The interior features full leather seats with Xavier Neverturn leather. Love that Lamborghini door. Alright, let's start it up and see how it sounds. With your foot on the brake, push the button to start. Under the hood is a 6.5 liter aspirated V12 engine, 7 speed dual clutch transmission with manual override, with electronic variable valve timing and Haudex Generation 4 all wheel drive system, pushing out 700 horsepower and 508 pound feet of torque. Can hit from 0 to 60 in the fast 2.9 seconds. EPA estimated fuel economy is 10 city and 16 highway. Top speed is limited to 218 miles per hour. Very impressive. Here's the Aventador aluminum door seal. Alright, as I mentioned earlier, the interior features full leather seats with Sabia Neferterm leather interior with partially black section on the dash, door panel, and center console. Here's the door surround sound speakers. and the lock and unlock buttons. I also forgot to mention that it does come with aluminum silver accenting trim on the door panel and the center console.
The three spoke flat bottom design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather with perforated side grips, feels really nice and aluminum trims in the middle with multi-function control side by side for your convenience here's the look at the instrument panel it is all digital with aluminum inserts and here's the driver side air vent and here's the light controlled fog light controlled and located behind the steering wheel is the setup paddle shifter for a more aggressive ride the steering wheel also features tilt and telescopic steering column and here at the center of the dash we have the dual air vent alright in the heart of the dash we have the multimedia LCD screen with aluminum accenting trims around it and here's all the different function buttons dual climate controlled push start and stop buttons alright here's how you control the multimedia screen with the knob in the middle alright all you have to do is move it around to move around screen and you can push down to select it's pretty simple navigation is not active okay down here we have the reverse manual and the parking brake and here's the center storage compartment glove box compartment with media interface cable and USB plug Here's a look at the power adjustable bucket seat, Lamborghini logo embossed on the headrest, up here we have the universal garage door opener, the light control, And here's the sun visor with a mirror. Here's your compact disc reader and two slots for SD cards. And here's the look to the passenger side door. Okay, to close the door, simply pull the door handle pull down to close and to open just pull the lever up to open very nice and easy the trunk is located in the front of the vehicle and it is used to store the removable top when the top is placed in here there are very limited space left for other things like small groceries or a small suitcase. The Aventadors come with many technology features. Standard technology features include electronic control goodies such as ABS, ABD, ASR, ESC, a hill holder function, an electronically controlled rear spoiler and an electronically controlled side air intake system, servotronic, and an integrated command with three different driving modes that integrate the gearbox, differential engine, response, and servotronic simultaneously. Alright, I might have mentioned some of this earlier, but I'll go ahead and uh, list a full interior and vehicle standard features again one more time. Start off with a push to start and stop button, keyless ignition, full TFT display in the cockpit, onboard computer, multimedia system with 7-inch display, 
iPod and USB interface, navigation, Bluetooth, by Xenon headlight with washer, LED daytime running light, automatic air conditioner with solar sensor, rain sensor, and electrically adjustable and heated side mirrors with folding functions. Ooh, that is a lot of features to list, but there you have it. Overall, the Aventador LP700-4 Roadster is a car every man and woman dream to have. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoy it. So my question to you is, would you buy this car if you can afford it? Let me know in the comment below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. And I'll see you guys next time.